Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 66. Doing a little bit of slay at the moment, but I think for this episode I'm going to try and do a little bit more skilling. I'd like to finish up 90 wood cutting and maybe get a few mining levels, uh, but we shall see where the rest of the episode aside from that takes us. Hope you guys enjoy. And that is 86 mining. I'm just testing the sandstone method for collecting buckets of sand. I am using 3 tick or at least attempting to, I'm not sure if I'm doing it properly but supposedly you can get between five and 6,000 buckets of sand now using 3 ticks so that would be pretty good. I need to collect about 50,000 overall. I've got about 10,000 in the bank at the moment so I'll get a further 50,000 that should be enough actually for 99 crafting which is pretty good. And that is 90 wood cutting so redwood trees are unlocked. And another skill up to 90. How many have I got left now? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Prayer will be pretty easy. Room crafting, not so easy. Construction, I've actually got 99 banked in logs. I just need to turn them into planks. Agility, it's a bit slow. Uh, smithing will be okay, I think. Mining, I have actually been doing a bit of mining um, at the quarry to get some sandstone. Um, so once I've got enough for 99 crafting I'll just switch back over to Motherload and I think I've actually got a couple of fletching levels banked in U-logs now about 7,000 logs so I'll make those into bows so I don't really have much uh, use for those other than fletching XP so that's pretty good as well got myself another pair of granite gloves I think that might be my third pair overall um, yeah closing in on 300 KC here Kill number 300, so another 50 done. I do 50 grotesque guardians every time I get a gargoyle task in the hopes of getting the black tumbling core for the um, guardian boots. And that is 87 mining. I think I need to get about 15,000 more sand from here. I filled it up once all the way up to 25,000 and I needed 18,000 more, so yeah, that shouldn't take too long. I don't think it'll get me too close to the next level, but I will. Go back to Motherload Mine um, if I want to train mining after I'm done here, I think. Got another Kraken Tentacle. I think that might be my eighth one overall, so seven out of ten for the extended Trident of the Swamp. So that's pretty cool. I'm very, I've got really good luck with these actually. All right, got two clue scrolls from Mining Sandstone, an Easy and an Elite. What can we get? Nothing from the Easy. Ooh, a Deer Stalker from the Elite. I don't think I've got that and I'm hoping it will go in the house so that it doesn't take up a bank space. I can't think of any other items that might make up a set for that but that's pretty cool. And that is 88 mining. I actually finished all of the sandstone mining that I need for 99 crafting and I was pretty close to the level so I figured I would just come and finish it at the gemstone mine. I will eventually need a bunch of topaz for making burning amulets for training prayer at the wilderness altar. I uh, don't know exactly how many I need. I might have enough now um, for 99 prayer. We'll see. Um, but yeah, nice to knock out that level. So as mentioned, I do now have all of the sand and giant seaweed required to get 99 crafting. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the amount that I need. I do have about a thousand more giant seaweed in the bank in case I miscalculated it. But either way, with all the materials I've got in the bank, I definitely have enough for 99. And the question now for me really is when to actually start working on that. Um, 99 crafting wasn't really on my list of goals for the short to medium term, but now that I've got the resources, I kind of do want to knock it out. Um, I've calculated that in total, I think it would take about 36 hours to complete. It would be about six hours of super glass make and then 30 odd hours of uh, blowing the glass. So, um, Really the question is when do I want to do that? I'd be quite curious to get your guys' feedback if you would like me to spend an episode just training crafting. Um, I think I would be happy to do that in a couple of episodes time. I mean 36 hours that's probably the amount of game time I would spend on an episode, maybe an episode and a half. But yeah if you guys would be interested in me gunning straight for 99 do let me know otherwise I can just start chipping away at it. Um, we shall see. Two more clue scrolls that I picked up from sandstone mining, a medium and an elite. What can we get? Uh, Hasidious banner, I'm not sure if I've got that. Might be a unique and the elite. Yeah, nothing, nothing too good from that one. Back at Zami, I've got a task of 200 greater demons and picking up yet another steam battle staff. 
genuinely lost count of how many I've had. I think that might be number six. Could be wrong. Hoping for the hilt. And that is another one. That is my seventh Steam Battle Staff overall. Pretty ridiculous. Well, that is kill number 600. Doubtful that I'll get anything on that drop. But that's another Zami Spear. Uh, yeah, again, I don't know which which number that is. Might be number six, might be number seven. Um, if I can get the hill under 700 kills, I think I'll be pretty happy. Um, and to be honest, if I had to choose any one of the four God Wars bosses to go dry on, it probably would be Zami anyway. Uh, I wouldn't want to go dry on Bandos just because finding a world for that is uh, always going to be tricky at peak times. So yeah, Zami, Zami kills are pretty quick and it's not too hard to get a, a task of Greater Demons. So yeah, surprised to get a, a drop on uh, 600 KC, but there we go. Got a hard clue and an elite clue from Zami. What can we get? Nothing. Ooh, Master Clue and Dark Infinity Kit, Color Kit. Um, I've not had that before. I don't know if I can use that on one item and it recolors just the one or if that's for the full set. I don't have any Infinity Robes. I don't really have a plan to get them, but that's pretty cool. And hopefully we'll be able to do the Master, so we'll give that one a go. All right, managed to complete the Master Clue. What can we get? Ooh, yes. 9 mil. I'm very happy with that. The Anguish Ornament Kit. That I really like that, how that looks on the necklace. Let's go and put it on. All right, so there's also the added bonus of this being made untradeable, but that looks really cool. I'm very pleased with that. And that's my first ornament kit for any of these Zenite pieces. So yeah, hopefully you can get another one soon. Well, that is my second Staff of the Dead. Actually not that happy to see that. It's the same drop rate as the Zami Hill. I don't know if there's... Uh, a table for these where it's you know you have a, a chance of rolling the table for the one in five eight drops and then you have a one in two chance of getting either of those but that's pretty disappointing to see definitely don't need a second one and I'm um, coming towards the end of my task had an awful lot of drops this task has to be said but still no help on the plus side though that was my best ever Zami trip I got 12 kills in the end aided in part by two restore drops which has never happened to me before uh, I wasn't actually getting that many food drops surprisingly just Zami didn't seem to be hitting that hard it didn't really proc the uh, special attack as many times as it has on most of my trips so that's pretty cool and I've only got five graters left on task so three kills and um, then the task will be over all right, that is the last kill of the task. What can we get? Nothing. And we're not done with God Wars. Next task, 248 Aviancies, so time to catch some chins and uh, see what we can get from here. I might actually try catching some black chins for this task uh, to see how that shapes up. So wish me luck. And that is 94 Hunter. I think I've got enough chins for the task now, so Gonna go and collect some ecumenical keys and get cracking. I'm actually really keen to see what the difference is like using black chin chompers compared to red chin chompers. I think when I was doing uh, red chin kills before, it was about 30 to 35 chins per Cree kill. So I'm hoping with black chins, it'll be about 25 and a noticeable improvement in kill speed. It'll be nice to get longer trips. Catching the black chins actually wasn't too bad. I, I did come across a few PKs. See ya. Didn't get killed at all, but um, yeah, certainly not a completely safe method, but I was banking every you know couple of hundred chins caught, so wasn't really risking too much. But yeah, let's go and finish this armor task. All right, task over, no drops, finishing up on 234 KC. The black chins definitely made a huge difference, about 20 to 25 per kill and longer trips. This is a 13 kill trip, my best ever. So definitely gonna be doing that for the next armadillo task, that's for sure. And unfortunately that is it for today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. I feel like it's been a pretty decent one in terms of drops, even though the ones that we got at Sami weren't the hilt. Um, picking up a few duplicates there but it's all good for the bank value so I can't complain too much and uh, who knows maybe next episode can uh, get another greater demon task and head back um, as mentioned please do leave your feedback on whether you think I should be going straight for 99 crafting I would be interested to hear your thoughts um, either way it wouldn't be next episode maybe the episode after that um, and yeah just intrigued to hear what you guys think thanks again for watching and take care